Hey everyone, uh, to today's video is about Wonder Waddle. You may know about the character already if you've been playing any storybook brawl, but uh, he's considered one of the best characters in the game. He can uh, pair his level 2 and level 3 animals in just sets of 2 rather than sets of 3 to get the treasures. Uh, but just because you're playing Wonder Waddle doesn't mean that you should force beasts if they don't come to you. Uh, like a lot of auto battlers, if you get a powerful unit early enough, you should try to build a comp around it. And this is a perfect example of one of those games where I didn't get offered beasts early enough, at least not enough to do anything meaningful. Got a good thing, accepted it, transitioned, and uh, it paid off. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Morgan was probably the most surprising buff to me, and um, like I said, I think that, that that second treasure is really just going to help compensate for when people have a really bad game with her and make her feel like a less bad character when that happens. And um, for the people who have good games with her, um, you probably won't notice the second half of the ability very often unless you very strategically um, land on it. We're going to take the Wonder Waddle because we've been having a pretty bad losing streak and um, Wonder Waddle is a pretty good chance of helping us not continue that. Um, obviously you can still just miss animals with Wonder Waddle or make bad decisions with Wonder, Wonder Waddle, but if you hit the animals and you take the animals, it gives you a lot of early game tempo. Um, he's often a guaranteed top four type character unless you get really lucky or play him really wrong. And I would, I would appreciate that guarantee right now. I am just a little salty from the amount of losses we've had, especially because some of the losses have felt a lot worse than others. Some of them I'm like, okay, you know what? I was being a bit greedy or I was taking too long. And some of them were just like, I rolled a bunch. I hit nothing. Hmm. Of course, uh, you know, I jinxed myself. I mentioned that you do need to hit stuff early enough. And uh, immediately we hit uh, no beasts in the first round of play. We're taking the baby dragon here because uh, I'm not expecting to be in Treants or Dwarves with Wonder Waddle, especially in the early game. And at least baby dragon can deal with pesky support units that can make um, otherwise winnable matches very difficult to win in the first few rounds. Okay, luckily Merlin didn't have a lucky um, a lucky spell drop for his first round of play. I do actually have an animal this time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Eeny Meeny Miney Moe, and if I don't hit my Wizard's Familiar, then I'm just going to go ahead and sell and grab my Wizard's Familiar. Perfect. That's what That was the perfect hit. That's what I wanted to get. We're going to lock and get our first treasure. And obviously, if I had the the, uh, the gold to do it, I would have grabbed the familiar and then just played the Eeny Meeny Miney Mo. But we were on three gold, and I wasn't going to sell the dragon to do that. Okay, unfortunately, they're holding a blind mouse and um, a, uh, a familiar, so that hurts our odds a little bit of hitting those. I'll just take the fairy tale. It's the only thing that's going to have an immediate impact on my game. Okay, so this would give me plus two, plus two immediately. Um, it's kind of weird, but I think I'm actually going to do this because I expect to keep the unicorn in play for a bit. And I'm not saying that's necessarily correct, but both of these... Um, we're scaled up by playing it, and I expect to be in them for at least a few turns of the game. That dragon is one of those units that um, is very unlikely to stay in play once I have a full battlefield anyways. So I gave up a little bit of immediate power, and like obviously could have made that a little bit more winnable for me. Um, this is an interesting conundrum here. I really want to be in Beasts. Um, the Good Witches are really good, though, and the Adventure is really, really good for me. This is... That's a lot of early experience, um, and 
getting the experience early does ro rob Wonderwaddle of one of the things that makes it a great character because if I'm getting this experience early, I'm I'm ruining the consistency of hitting my level two and level three animals to really leverage um, my passive, but you don't necessarily have to do that to win in this game. You want to have the best build as fast as possible. And if I have the opportunity to have like an insane experience advantage early in the game, um, wonder water or not, I need to go for it. And this is a very big swingy offer of just stats here. Unfortunately, those sheep do get a stat boost from their support unit. Okay, we get there, but it was close. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking what we're going to do here is we're going to do this to make that have the absolute best chance of going off. We're going to roll because we do want the beasts. Polywoggle is pretty rude with... Um, with Wonder Waddle. We're gonna throw it here and give ourselves the best chance of kind of scamming a high level unit. And I'm gonna lock because if this Polywoggle levels immediately after Adventure makes me go to four, I can get a tier six unit um, as soon as this in, as, as soon as this combat is over. Um, it's a, dramatically depend on how this goes here. But if I get a slay with this and a slay with this, um, I'm positioned to just have a very, very unfair for a unit because there's not a single tier six I can think of that I'm going to be unhappy is in my lineup. There are some that won't be as good as others, but um, this early in the game, I don't think there's a single tier six that you're just going to be like, I'm mad that I have this. There's a real chance the Polywoggle might not even get to attack though, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, not going to get to attack. It was close, though. It was actually really close to an unfair advantage. Let's take the cheaper spells. And maybe what we'll do here is... I, th I think I'd rather have the extra health, actually. Something like this. And then we're going to lock again. Up note, if I don't, if I still do not level here, I'm probably just going to take the True Love's Kiss on something and roll away anyways. Um, I was just going to give myself one more chance because my battlefield is fine. Um, and I put quite a few stats into play with what I just grabbed. But of note... I'm at level four and I didn't even roll to look for level four units. So this really is just me gambling on Polywoggle getting to do a thing. Okay, we, the gamble is going to pay off. We are going to have a very early tier 6 unit available to us. Unless the tier 5 that it turned into is insane and we want to stay on it. Uh, I mean, Baba Yaga is fine, but we're not in that in a meaningful way. Okay, so we are very encouraged to try to find dwarves. And we have, we have the, the points to make it a thing, so let's do it. When I say the points, I mean we have the stats. Um, we're not going to just outwardly lose the game from attempting to make this happen. Mm. It's 
something like this maybe. <laughs> Obviously it's not a hard transition yet, but um just the the plus six plus six this is gonna be giving a, to three separate units. That's eighteen more points in play. That's you know, a lot of stats for this stage of the game. I think I think it's fine to try to first force dwarves for at least a little bit, because no one else is gonna have a lordy at this point, and it's going to uh, give me a distinct advantage in trying to be in it. And we're just about to have access to angries. up some grass. I will clean that up in a bit then. Yeah, I'll go pick that up in a second, sweetheart. See, I also could just say no, I'm not hard committing to this, but let's be fair, that's probably a bad idea. We're gonna transform this. Oh, sweet. We actually get a leveled bossy. That is absolutely insane. At this point, we're going to take any dwarf that we can because they're good enough. Uh, baby bear is cool to have options, but I just, I don't think it's good enough when we have this strong of a dwarf start this early in the game. We really, really just want to find the dwarves as fast as possible. And um, the amount of rolls we would give up is much too high. The Princess White is a little tempting. The problem with Princess White at this stage of the game is that um, it's very unlikely that most of my dwarves are going to die when I'm this far ahead. It is a quest that it, I wouldn't have too much trouble filling since I want dwarves anyway, though. And we are early enough in the game that people could still have their own high rolls. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna gamble on it. I'm gonna go grab that dog puke. Gross, gross, sweetheart. Health, you got out of your system though. <clears throat> I mean, there's a little bit of dwarf death, dwarf death happening. It's still scaling better than my random units that just exist. The true love's kiss hitting a dwarf is really just RNG telling me to play uh, play dwarves and not ignore them. Not that I was not that I was wasn't already equipped for this, but. Oh, the update already went through, huh? Let's do this now then, because uh, we already knew that this was going away. Let's just eat it, get that experience, be at six now, just to really keep our options open. Um, this might not be right, but this is a pretty early Lancelot, so we're gonna go ahead and just take it, because some of my, my opponents are in line with their levels, but some of them are already gone. I want, I'm gonna want to make sure I update um, after this match, just in case, because if that, if that patch went through, um, yeah, my version is on 0.59.2, and it, the patch is 0 0.60.2, but that item has changed. I'm going to want to restart the client after this. I hope you're not going to eat more gas and puke more. Honestly, part of my dog going in and out is she's probably trying to herd me inside. She doesn't like it when I'm streaming because she wants all of the attention and she won't sit on my lap when I'm in a chair. It has to be in the couch or something. In her defense, she is a bigger dog, so sitting in a lap is a bit awkward for her, I'm sure. 
Okay, we got the doubly. I'll take that. Um... Do I want the Grim Soul just to... To help with the scaling on the Lance a lot? Maybe? I take that because I didn't expect to hit any, like, big spells at this point. See, now the Bearstein plus the Baby Bear gives me even more options. Because I could just immediately say, no, I'm scaling back for this. Uh, nah, I don't want to. That's going to give me... Give, away a lot of my time and progress um is the grim soul worth keeping over the white it will help me get a higher level treasure but i kind of want both treasures i also want this doubly asap and don't think i want to lock for it this is where it's awkward um you know what we're just gonna do this Yeah, I'm giving up stats from the Lordy, but I have a pretty early game tempo advantage, and the White exists more for the quest right now than for her stats. I don't think she was going to make it to the final cut anyways. It's rare for her to make it to the final cut. It's more rare when you have a Lordy and you can just already have stats. There's no reason to even try to get her in online. Okay, I have a chance of getting a Slay here. I mean, no, I don't, because he's attacking right now, and they all have too high of health because of the stupid godmother. Just kidding. But, you know what? Even if I only get the one slay trigger around from that, I'm slowly progressing it. It just means I might want to do something like this and just hope I don't get unlucky on the one attack. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my options open on on the leveling. Oh, the Echo Wood is insane, though. <laughs> Let's just do this really quick. Animals are plus one, plus one, and good just does not matter to me. The plus one attack could matter. I think I'm just going to take the money and then buy this too and then just lock. Um, let's, let's do this really quick. I'm going to give up a little bit more in stats and just try to get done with Lancelot because I don't want to, I don't want to be stuck on this Lancelot for too long. I just want the treasure. Okay, we should actually get the slay off of this. That's great. We might even be able to get a second attack off. Nope. I didn't do the exact math when I made the statement, so we're already in the top four. Fantastic. Okay, we already know that we don't need this or want this. Um, I don't need to buff a monster. Unless I want to go Jormungdur, but I'm in Dwarves. I know I'm in Dwarves. I'm really just going for treasure at this point. Um. Honestly, none of this is super important to me. We're going to definitely take that. It's free and doesn't literally cost me nothing to do. We're just trying to roll as much as we can and get our stuff online. Okay. The goal here is to transition back into a normal dwarf build ASAP 
We just want to get this Lancelot completely activated first, which will hopefully happen this round, provided that he doesn't die before these trigger. He should just succeed, and then I can stop being in Lancelot. Perfect. No, I don't have to commit that giant board space to a Lancelot that I don't actually need. His stats are good enough that if I wanted to keep him and keep scaling him, I probably could, but I just don't have an interest in that. The dwarves are going to scale so much better just by having more dwarves in play. When you summon a character, you give it to plus one, plus one. I mean, obviously it's Ambrosia, right? Um... Something like this for now. I don't need to keep my options open for going into Slay. I know that I'm not interested in it with this current build, even though I keep getting offered Dramunders and it would have been another pivot I could have done. The double pivot just was not necessary. Uh, that is a treasure if I grab them. Oh, I'll do it. I might as well play this since I'm walking anyway. It just gives me a, a treasure cast and a, a roll on the treasure for the beginning of next round. Yeah, this thing's stats went up too. It's also possible the patch number was just incorrect on the notes, but I'm going to make sure I reboot the client after this just to be sure. Because that is a 10-10. It got plus one, plus one from my stuff. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Cupid being Cupid, though. This is actually going to be pretty close. I think I lose it, though. Yep. Yeah, they have a lot of stats on the on those Juliets right now. Plus 10 attack on first unit. Let's do it. Just get this Hercules online as fast as humanly possible so we cannot be in Hercules. Okay, come on. That's a dwarf. Okay. Um, yeah, I know I'm not going to stay with a greedy anyway, so let's just sell and get this treasure in play, or at least the option. We'll take the hidden cash. Um, and I think Merlin's hat is officially out of here. I wonder if they decrease the odds of the spell synergy um, treasures coming up, because I never get offered both of them in the same game unless they're offered during the same pick. That was a really bad polymorph for me, because that was literally my biggest unit besides my Echo Wood. I think we're okay as long as the Jermunder doesn't get a million good attacks off, though. Yeah, because Echo Wood can kill it and actually survive. We're good. That could have been really bad for us, though. Okay. Now that the white is leveled, it does not matter. We're really just looking for sets of stuff that we have at this point. 
and angries. We, we, we would definitely like angries here. Um, I could transform something in a hope. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this and hope I hit an angry with it. I did not, but an upgrade low, uh, tier 6 unit is probably good enough to do something like this. They've offered me so many good beasts this game after I was already just hard committed to being in dwarves. And I do admit, like, this may not be the best play because I'm still going off of RNG with this. But, um, it's fun. And hopefully Hercules is just finished right here. Yeah, great. And now, um, I won't need to hold the Hercules anymore. Oh, that was a cool upgrade, except it doesn't go off because it's only, because combat already started. If that actually played its buffs when it was played, that would have been insane, though. That is an insanely big Juliet. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Unfortunate. We're okay, though. We're okay. Oh, uh, round table, huh? I think it's gotta be. I guess the problem is most of my stuff has even stats. Round table probably isn't right. It's probably the spear, actually. Um. Let's do this. We do this. Throw this back down. Um. I mean, our decision's already been kind of made here as far as what needs to be leveled. We could have picked either of them, but since we didn't have extra copies, it was just level a thing and then do a thing. Toss this. Toss this. Um, I just, I can't justify locking for stuff, so we do that. Because we want that angry as to go off as fast as possible. Okay, we should have a lot more stats here now. Wow, that's also a lot more stats. We only got two of them, but still. The fact he gets to attack is better for us because it means we actually get a better stat boost. The Romeo Julia is actually like doing insane work though because of the amount of scaling they have with these Prince Arthurs. We finally got it there. We finally beat them. We need to keep finding things to scale before they do though. Or at least some rude spells to scam them. I mean, at this point, that is what you play right there. Another one. Ho, 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 ho. Um, and we might as well just do that. And then we could sub out um, this bossy for the Lordy. I think we're officially to the point where we're, we're heavily outscaling them. And the fact that we just have a like, leveled Wombats in disguise we can't fit is, is a testimony for how disgusting a build we just hit. Funny though, because like we never were in Beasts. This was a case of never being in Beast with Wonder Waddle, but actually not getting screwed out of out of the situation, because a lot of the time when that happens, you just can't make it out. Unfortunate, but could be a lot worse. I guess I probably want to put that a little bit later in my lineup, so it gets more of the boosts from things. 
I can still swap it with a Lordy. Okay, cool. I think we just win right now anyway, though. Yep. Hitting the additional Lordy was just disgusting. It was such good guaranteed scaling.